Hi and welcome to Ron Paul Flick's Daily News for April 18th, 2012. Money bomb is still going on. We're supposed to raise two and a half million dollars. That's the target Ron Paul himself has set. We've raised 1.3 million so far. It'd be really terrific to see that get up a little bit. We're going to look at some interesting things on this show from now on that are happening in the marketplace. And the thing we're going to look at today is what NASA is doing with the space shuttle. They just retired it. Now, I'm a complete science buff. So for me, this is a big deal. Um, I love space. I love anything to do with the sciences. And seeing the space shuttle being retired, you know, is, is not the greatest feeling um, because you want to see things happening. But what has been proven by the space shuttle's retirement is that private enterprise has been waiting in the wings to take off and hasn't been able to because government has been doing it for them. So even though the space shuttle has now been retired, this may not look as pretty as a space shuttle, but this is a Falcon 9 rocket made by SpaceX. And SpaceX is going to be launching this capsule um, into space. This will ferry people to and from the space station and supplies as well. Uh, this kind of looks small on the screen here. It's actually massive. Um, so uh, if we go back, it's uh, this rocket is absolutely huge. It looks a lot smaller on the screen. But anyway, um, so private enterprise really uh, can... Um, you know, do what needs to be done. But the, the interesting thing is it's really being held back by government. When government gets in the way, um, it kind of takes over from private enterprise. Private enterprise no longer has uh, a need to get up there and do things. And so that happens. Now, Rick Santorum, he had a press conference just the other day and he said he refuses to endorse Mitt Romney. Now, this is interesting. Remember, Santorum is an extremely, I would almost call radical conservative. Um, he's a Catholic. And somebody that, that believes what Santorum believes cannot ethically endorse a Mormon. Whatever your and I view, views on that, it's really irrelevant. Rick Santorum's religious views would be, uh, he would be absolutely and completely selling out everything he believed in if he endorsed Mitt Romney. So he had to say uh, this to his supporters instead. That, my slide catches up here. <laughs> Uh, as far as how you vote, that's up to you. Perfect thing he should have said. Um, although, Rick, you could endorse Ron Paul. That would go a long way as well. And some people have said there's no way Rick Santorum would ever endorse Ron Paul. Well, who else would he endorse? He can't endorse Newt Gingrich. I mean, Newt Gingrich is, is not even in the race for all intents and purposes. So it's either Ron Paul or Romney. And people have argued well, he's, he, he will endorse Romney. I don't see how that is possible for the reasons I just gave. Rick Santorum has far more in common with Ron Paul than he does with Mitt Romney. That is absolutely for certain. So if we do see an endorsement from Santorum, I think it will have to be for Ron Paul. Um, they definitely butt heads on some issues, but you know, the, the big issue right now is the economy, and that's where they do agree. So I think we might see that. Now, some people complained my, my reporting on the Minnesota delegates was incorrect. I tell you what, it's really hard to get all of the numbers together. This is, everyone's got different opinions on how it all works. I looked at everything. Hopefully, this is a more accurate presentation of what happened. Now, when I said we had swept three conventions and each one had three delegates, well, that was true. So that they all happened on the 14th of April, and Ron Paul got three delegates in each of those. But there was a convention that occurred, uh, and these are county conventions, that occurred on the 31st of March, where Santorum got two and Ron Paul got one. Remember, at this point, the 31st of March, Rick Santorum was still in the race, so it's a little different. And there's another four, districts one, two, four, and eight, that are occurring on the 21st and 22nd. There's one of them that uh, goes over two days. So right now, the totals, Ron Paul has 10 delegates from Minnesota. Santorum has two. The beautiful thing is, you see there, New Gingrich, uh, Mitt Romney have none. <laughs> so that's really, really exciting. So although I did get it wrong, we're, I was only counting these three, and there's another five that, that have to be counted as well. We're doing exceptionally well. And now that Santorum is gone, it looks like, as you can see here, that his delegates have helped us because we put forward uh, you know, the, these conservative slates. So they're helping us uh, get these numbers. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure that with uh, one, two, four, and eight, we're also going to sweep those as well. Maybe Centaurum will get one or two there. Maybe Romney will get one or two there. But I believe we're definitely going to walk away with a majority, which means we're going to have a plurality of delegates in Minnesota, and we are going to win that state. Now, it's exciting to see people that are not normally involved in politics, I never used to be involved in politics, uh, getting involved and speaking out against what government is doing. This guy, who, if you're a web geek like me, um, I was one of the world's very first web designers, so I know exactly who this is, and you may too. This is Tim Berners-Lee. He invented the World Wide Web, not the internet, separate things. The World Wide Web runs on the internet. Uh, he's speaking out against uh, government intrusion into the internet, especially the Soper and Pippa bills and the new CISPA bill, and we'll get into that in another show because they're really bad. And he said this, the extension of surveillance powers is a destruction of human rights. Um, it's awesome to see people speaking out against what the government is doing who are not normally involved in politics. Another one, John Cusack was on CBS's morning show yesterday and he also had some very harsh words for Obama and the current administration and the Bush administration as well. So he's not taking sides here. Take a listen to this. I think this is just utterly fantastic. It's kind of nice. Following the political race this year? Yeah. Yeah. And what yeah. are you thinking? I don't know. I How think, are you uh, feeling? I sort of feel like um, there's some kind of Rubicon line issues that I hope uh, are addressed that don't have to do with left and right and mm -hmm. some of those issues. Some of the issues that the Obama administration has with uh, due process mm -hmm. and with the assassination of American citizens, this speech by Eric Holder, I think are deeply troubling. And I think that's beyond left and right. Um, uh, but from a civil libertarian point of view, uh, the, the excesses of the Bush administration, I think he had a constitutional obligation to, uh, to, to correct that. And I don't think they have. And I think that's deeply troubling for my nephews and for my future. Mean, meaning you expected more from the president and well, the attorney general? Yeah, I don't think the executive branch, I think that, 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 that they've kind of continued that imperial presidency of the, of the Bush administration with this, these claims to executive privilege. Um, I thought that, is, that speech about the assassination of American citizens, uh, you know, in the name of terror was, uh, I thought, very, very troubling. Great to see you. Really nice to see you. You too. And, um, and great to see that. I mean, it takes a lot of guts for an actor to come out and say these kinds of things because it really can affect their career. So, John Cusack, thank you very much for uh, speaking out. And I hope more uh, continue to do so. Um, now, something we've been lacking the last couple of months is a debate. We haven't had a debate. There's a group that wants to put on a debate in May, uh, May 24th, uh, 2012. Um, so a debate in May may occur. Uh, they want you to come along here and fill in a petition. So they're going to grab your details and then you'll probably get spammed in junk mail. But anyway, if you want to do that, uh, I shortened the URL because it was some ridiculous, crazy thing. Tinyurl.com slash maydebate. So we may have a debate in May. Um, we will see. Fingers crossed. Now, one, one good thing, if, if Newt Gingrich dropped out and we just had Ron Paul and Mitt Romney in the debate, Lincoln style, I think that would be absolutely terrific. Um, we might even get fair time, equal time. Imagine that. Uh, probably not. Actually, what am I thinking? It's, that's a crazy thought, Israel. All right. Um, so that's our show. Please subscribe, favorite, thumbs up, comment, and share this video everywhere you think it should go. You can follow us on uh, Twitter and uh, Facebook. You can financially support us here, but please, before you do that, go and uh, give money to the Money Bomb. We need to get this up to two and a half million dollars. It's a serious goal. We need to do it. We're only at 1.3 million now. And uh, if we want to keep getting these delegates like you just saw in Minnesota there, if we, we need to pay for people on the ground, there's a lot of resources. It costs a lot to do this stuff. So please um, get along here and donate. Uh, max out if you can. I know, uh, you know, we're not all flush with cash and all, but this really is very, very important. So that's our show for today. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.